everybody, I'm Lisa Sweezy. I'm Tom Ladshaw. And I'm Annie Roberts. Welcome to Behind the Scenes at Venthaven Museum. In this video series, we're going to show you some things that you can't see on a regular tour. Like what? Like how dummies operate, uh, surprises from the storage room, and some treasures from the archives. Let's get started. All right, today we are behind the scenes in Building 3 at Bent Haven, the Josephine Burger Building, with Kenny Talk. Tom, tell us about Kenny Talk. Kenny Talk, one of the McElroy masterpieces, and this may well be, in fact, their masterpiece, along with Jacko the Monkey. Uh, he was designed specifically to W.S. Burger specifications. W.S. had sketches made and had this figure created. A lot of people over the years have commented on the size of Kenny's head, and the rumor was, well, it's, there's so many mechanics in it. That's not the reason. W.S. had a, a really nice German silk top hat that he wanted this figure to wear when it wore a waistcoat and tails, so he asked the brother to make the head to fit the top hat, and that's why the head is so big. And Kenny Talk is actually not his original name. That's right. W.S. named him Yahooty, and he got the name Yahooty when he listened to a Bob Hope radio program and heard that on the radio. So. Very cool. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, he is one of the, the McElroy brothers' masterpieces. He has so many mechanical movements. And of course, that's what the brothers were known for. And a lot of their figures have a number of movements, but Kenny, he takes it a step further. Uh, How many? Oh, I think 17. There are 17, 17 movements. Wow! So what are some things that Kenny has that are different from other McElroy's. Well, he is the only McElroy figure made with a shell moving upper lip. Instead of the, the one that just raises with the slots, this is a piece that slides over the outside mm -hmm. just like that. So it's very natural looking. You'll also notice one tooth appears dead. Now, that's, this is on a couple of figures, but this tooth can be removed <laughs> just like that uh, in case uh, he's got a toothache. What else do, can he do? The eyes, uh, they can blink. He's got one winker, but I'm gonna see if I can do this with one hand here. They'll also go at half mast, and they actually lock in that position so he can appear drunk or bleary-eyed like that. And they're leather. Winkers. They are leather winkers. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this is one thing that's very interesting. Uh, he can not only smoke, let me see, I open the mouth here, you can see a, a smoking tube up in there. Mm -hmm. He can not only inhale and blow the smoke out of his mouth, but on the side of the head stick, there's a little, uh, a little, um, what do you call it? Diverter valve? A diverter valve, a valve. <laughs> you switch the valve like and he can actually <laughs> blow the smoke out of his ears. You can see on the side of his head, there are little he's holes. He's really angry. Right. <laughs> and he's got uh, all the other stuff. Uh, he can also spit. Uh, if you notice the upper lip here, there's a little hole right between the two front teeth he can spit. So how about, uh, let's, let's look at the mechanics. Sure. What do you think? Okay. Uh, like all the figures, you have to turn the head around to release the little cam lock there. Here we are. Yeah. And uh, this and this is an interesting thing, the eyebrow movement. Many people don't know this lever. This is actually the black key off a piano. Oh. Uh, the brothers, they were in found materials. They used whatever they could find and uh, black key off a piano. The upper lip uh, and the mouth. And of course, on the side here, this is the, the little lever for the eyebrows. On this side, this is a switch for the light up nose. This little valve, this diverts the smoke from the mouth to the ears. And then we have the wiggling ears. This is the cross eyes. This is the fright wig. This is the wiggling nose, the stick out tongue, and the winking eye and anchor. You'll notice he's dressed like a Kentucky State Patrolman, this custom wool uniform, which is just fantastic. He's part of a set of three here in the museum that you'll see, but you won't see the mechanisms because this is behind the scenes at Ben Haven Museum. Thank you so much for watching. If there's something you'd like to see behind the scenes, email Lisa at curator at benhaven.org.